Hello, my name is Ricky Thompson, actor, model, just all around everything. Um, and today we wrapped on an amazing shoot, you guys, the cover. And um, yeah, I'm very excited about it, and yeah. If you could wear only one designer for the rest of your life, who would it be again? If I could wear one designer for the rest of my life, who would it be? Okay, so right now I'm really obsessed with my all-time favorite designer, Ludovic. Like, literally, Ludovic is so amazing. All his designs are very sexy, which that's why I love being sexy. I love outfits with cuts and, you know, straps and all that type of stuff. So, yes, like, my full closet is filled with Ludovic, so definitely Ludovic all the way. And then, what's one 2000 movie everyone should watch at least once? One 2000s movie, everyone should at least watch once. Um, I would have to say, ooh, I would have to say either Mean Girls or John Tucker Must Die. I love those two movies. Like those movies, I watch them when I'm sad. It just makes me smile. If you're planning on going for a 90s vibe with your outfit, what's the key accessory you need to keep it going? Okay, a key accessory or a key piece to really make a 90s look pop. Um, I would have to say, ooh, I'm gonna have to say, you know, you can never go wrong with a good pair of baggy jeans, okay? Baggy jeans is literally like just the perfect piece to a 90s outfit. The 90s is all about the bagginess. So, you just have some baggy jeans. My top tip for staying motivated during all this craziness, the lockdown, you know what I mean? Um, to just really surround yourself um, with good energy and, you know, keep up with good people. Like, you know, FaceTime your family, FaceTime your friends. Um, and just really just stay positive and just really think that we're going to get out of this. It's not going to be like this forever. And really just look at that goal. Play your love interest if you start in a rom-com who would it be <gasps> if i could pick anyone to play my love interest in a rom-com who would it be i would have to say uh god bless his soul um heath ledger mm -hmm. i love that man so much i wish he was here today but he would definitely pay my love interest what's one album that got you through the pandemic one album that got me through the pandemic. Um, I would have to say, oh, you know, I'm gonna go to Throwback. Um, B Day, the album by my girl Miss Beyonce. Um, during the pandemic, I literally stayed in and just listened to music. And since there was a lot of music coming out, I decided to go back to my old favorites. And that album, I just love that album. It reminded me of such a good time during that time. And yeah, Miss Beyonce. Possession. My most prized possession would have to be, well, I just got this brand new, like, Chrome Hearts uh, choker, and I'm obsessed with it. Anytime I wear it, everyone compliments me, and I'm like, yes, I know, I bought that, and I love it. <laughs> um, have you discovered any new hobbies during lockdown? Any new hobbies I discovered, yes. I have a shopping addiction. That's exactly what I have picked up. I mean, I guess it's my hobby now, shopping. Um, I have just been so into fashion recently. Like, I've just been so crazy about different designs, and different patterns, and different, different everything. And honestly, yeah, shopping has just gotten me through the pandemic. What's one thing we should all One thing we should leave in 2020 is Corona, okay? I don't want to hear about it anymore. I don't want to speak about it anymore. Also, face masks. I'm missing people's faces. Like, I need that again. So, Corona and face masks, stay in 2020. Okay, and last question. What's the key to staying booked and busy? Ah, uh, my favorite question. The key to staying booked and busy. Um, you know, stay consistent, uh, stay positive, stay motivated. Um, and always follow your dreams. You know, people are going to tell you you can't do something, but you just got to keep on doing it and prove them wrong. <laughs>